There was nothing I could do for him on the Herc Dreadnought. The Ketracel extraction process was too devastating. Odo, you treated him like a son when we first found him on DS9, and I'm truly sorry. He didn't even have a name when he left us. I'll make sure the name he found is never forgotten. I remember his first days on the station. All he wanted to do was fight, didn't matter who. When he left, I thought I'd never see him again, or if I did, it'd be as enemies. The man I met years later still knew how to fight, but his reasons for doing so had changed dramatically. I'm proud to have known him. I wish I could have done more in the end. I suppose you're right. I believe Nerys, uh, Captain Kira, was looking for you. She was at the temple. Hello again, my friend. It pleases me to see you. I have... interesting news. Thankfully, no. Rather, it involves the Orb of Peace that you returned with Kaiopaka. It has... spoken to me. I've been exploring the meaning of that experience with the Kai and Captain Kira. They are, after all, experts on such matters. While we all find it curious that an orb of the Prophets would speak to a Vorta, we also agree it would be foolish to ignore it. With the blessings of Founder Odo, I have been transferred to this quadrant to continue my studies of the orb and the Prophets. I shall also serve as Founder Odo's representative here. Diplomacy is my specialty, after all. I'm sure we'll be seeing one another again. May the blessings of the Founders and the... It is good to see you once more. I was hoping we'd have a moment to speak on an important matter before your duties take you back to the stars. My thoughts often return to the Orb of Peace. It was no coincidence that it was found in the Gamma Quadrant, in the midst of two warring tribes. I believe it to be a message from the Prophets, one of guidance in troubled times. Now that the conflict with the Herc has ended, I feel it's time to explore this omen more thoroughly. The recent vision experienced by Loris is truly remarkable. That the Prophets would speak to Avorta? Again, this is no coincidence. Simply put, I believe the Orb is meant to broker a last- And here we are, once again. It's been quite a journey, hasn't it? Funny you should mention that. After we got back, Starfleet Command offered me a number of postings, even the center chair on one of those shiny new cruisers. <laughs> Tempting. But I chose to join the command staff here on DS9. Bajor and the Celestial Temple mean a lot to me, and this station is a good place to keep them both safe. Subtle, <laughs> but you're not wrong. Odo and I have a lot to work out before we're back to where we were, but we've taken a few good steps in that direction. I think it'll work out. Eventually. 
thank you for coming to visit. After all we've been through, it means a lot to have friends, even if it reminds me of the ones we miss. Speaking of reunions, I think General Martok is leading the charge against the Bloodwine at Quarks. I'm sure he'd want to congratulate you on another glorious victory. May the Prophets watch. We'll be here at DS9 until my ship is repaired. Fortunately, I have exclusive rights to the hollow sim of the battle. The sales of that alone will cover the cost of repairs. I don't like to think about how close to the disaster we were, though. Fortunately, there were people like you out there to bring us all back from the brink. All those adventures. You've got quite a story to tell. That reminds me. Have you ever considered making a hollow biography? I think your life story would be quite popular and profitable. I'll make you a very generous offer for the rights and cut you in on a share of the profits, say 25%. Sir yourself, the offer still stands if you change your mind. We need to stop running into each other when the fate of the galaxy is on the line. I'd be fine with drinks here at Uncle's Bar, or some baseball on the holodeck. That said, I can't think of too many people I'd trust when Starfleet's assigned the Chimera to peacekeeping duty in Herc space. We'll be working with the Joint Task Force to help the Herc get back on their feet again as well. There's a lot to be done, but we want to help them rejoin the Galact- It is, but my crew is up for the challenge. They're some of Starfleet's best. I am forever indebted to you. 
Without your efforts, I would walk the path of exile for the rest of my days. Now, I will help make amends for all that has happened during Zenkath's terrible crusade. Oh, I'm so glad to see this come. When word got out that the Gamma Quadrant was open for business, the new Latinum rush was on! Open borders and free trade policies? <laughs> My husband was practically weeping with joy. <sighs> oh. Welcome back. Seeing as this is a private party and I'm in an unusually generous mood, you'll be getting the VIP discount on your drinks tonight. Did you take a hit to the head in that fight? I'm in a good mood. Not insane. Half off. That's more like it. Don't take it personally. You could be Odo. His drinks? 50% markup. Can I get you something? Not much to tell, really. Lex saw the error of his ways and gave it back. Then I had Grilka let Martok and Worf know we'd recovered their precious rug. A quick handoff later, and the Klingons were off to war. Rom and I tagged along, mainly to see the look on Odo's face when I rode in with the cavalry. That was priceless! If I die tomorrow, I'll go to the Exchequer with a smile on my face. Who do you think you're talking to? Nog? Un Can I get you something? A hard-fought battle, and a well-earned victory. And yet, we almost missed it. Our fleet would have never left the Empire if it weren't for the sword's return. Grilka tells me her former mate, Quark, had something to do with that. The sacred blade of Canis, returned to the Empire by a Ferengi. Madness! Yes, the legend of Kalos is stronger than ever. It would not surprise me if the High Council moved to create a new clone of the Emperor. There is... Interesting. There's a message from Garrick on my monitor here. Text only. He wants you to meet him at his old tailor shop. Maybe he's had enough of politics and wants to get back in the fashion game. Probably more profitable in the long run, and easier on the nerves. I wouldn't keep him waiting if I were you. He looks for secrets when he gets bored, and trust me, he's not the person you want poking around in your business.
The conflict may be over, but there's still plenty of work to be done. The Lucari have offered to help the Herc restore their homeworld's ecosystem, and they've accepted. Dr. Bashir will be working with us on this. It, it's our goal to ensure that no Herc will go without nourishment again. Some time ago, I hoped for a path to peaceful resolution to our troubles with the Herc. I'm happy to be part of such a solution, at last. Thank you for your efforts in getting us all to this point, to peace. Thank you for meeting me here. Strangely, I find it easy to center myself in this shop, even relax. Quite so. Cardassia is about to begin a new journey, as it were, and I'll be going along for the ride. Oh, it is. Cardassia has been offered membership in the Alliance, and we've accepted. Our seat at the table was hard-earned, but we're ready and grateful to join the ongoing efforts. Officer exchange programs have already begun. In fact, I suspect you'll be seeing more Cardassian faces in the future. I hope you show them the same courtesy as you've shown me in our shared adventures. Oh, I'll be spending time on Earth. Kronos and new Romulus. The life of an ambassador is never dull, after all. Someone needs to make sure the Alliance doesn't forget about Cardassia. And I suppose that someone is me. I'll be sure to follow your exploits, of course. They'll be far more entertaining than economic forecasts and state functions, to be sure. I believe our fearless leaders would like to have a word with you next. I have initiated a dialogue between the Dominion and the Karema. In light of recent events, I feel it is imperative that their conflict is resolved peacefully. Whether that results in an independent Karema or not remains to be seen, but I shall endeavor to help them reach a result that is beneficial for both parties. The Hava's Cool Sector has been designated as independent from the Dominion, and a Herc neutral zone has been established around it. The Empire will join the Federation and the Republic in keeping the peace between the Dominion and the Herc. We have experience in enforcing a neutral zone, after all. Martok's use of the beacon and the return of the blade has led to a renewed interest in Kalos throughout the Empire. Some say that Martok stands with honor next to great heroes like Tukuvma, Volk, Lorel, and Kang. As if getting along with a stubborn old Targ wasn't difficult enough, his ego will be larger than Mount Hamar at this rate. 
It is fortunate that Martok has little in the way of political aspirations. Otherwise, I may need to kill him. Again. Ha! <laughs> There have been some significant diplomatic events since your return from the Gamma Quadrant. First, the Dominion is joining the Alliance. Having them as allies will take some getting used to, but the opportunity was too great to ignore. As a condition to joining the Alliance, we requested that the Founders take steps to free the Jem'Hadar from their addiction to Ketracel White. I'm happy to say that Ambassador Odo is inclined to comply with that request. It will make things interesting in the Gamma Quadrant, to be sure. Still, it's been a long time coming. The Gem Hadar should be able. The Dominion is about to go through a number of changes, liberating the Jem'Hadar from the White, phasing out the Founder's benevolent dictatorship, establishing a safe haven for the Herc. Needless to say, I'm going to be very busy for quite some time.
also Things are finally, uh, well, indeed, but I happen to be married to the cat. With Huck and being part of Starfleet will help me make things happen in that regard. When I'm not here, I'll be working with the Lucari and the crew. Indeed, but I happen to be married to the captain of the Aventide, so it won't be, you know, too bad. The kids won't be joining us until Kumake and her team restore have us cool to a more habitable state, however. I'm sure we'll see each other again soon. But until then, be safe out there. Doctor's orders. The future of the Dominion is uncertain for the first time in many years. Without the Founder and her unbreakable will at the center of it all, the Gamma Quadrant will undoubtedly go through a great deal of turmoil. I'll do what I can to maintain order and keep the peace, but it's going to be 
challenging, to say the least. For now, what matters to me is that you fought for the Dominion when we needed it the most. I won't forget that. And thanks to the Great Link, neither will the Founders. Thank you. I hope we meet again under much better circumstances. <laughs>